Hello friends, in this video I will be talking about the financial ratios used in credit analysis. As you can see in front of you, there are various financial ratios which you have already studied in FRA but anyway we will be revising it again. So first column is the profitability and cash flow measures. These are not ratios but these are just numbers. Second is leverage ratios and third is coverage ratios. Now profitability and cash flow measures basically you need to check if these are good enough or not. Operating income EBIT earnings before interest and tax EBITDA earnings before interest tax depreciation and amortization FFO funds from operation FCFBD free cash flow before dividend and FCFAD free cash flow after dividend. We will study these in detail after the table. Leverage ratios debt by capital, debt by EBITDA, FFO by debt, FCFAD by debt. Again we will study these after the table. Coverage ratios so EBIT divided by interest expense yeah EBITDA divided by interest expense. ये जो EBITDA divided by interest expense है उसको क्या बोलते हैं interest coverage ratio. In FRA you studied that EBIT divided by interest was known as interest coverage ratio. Both are okay, both are valid. Now let's study each and every measure in detail. So first one was profitability and cash flow measures. EBIT or operating income. EBIT कैसे calculate होता है? It is calculated by deducting operating expenses from operating revenue. Operating revenue minus operating expense. This will give you EBIT. EBIT indicates the profit performance prior to the cost of debt and taxes. मतलब cost of debt क्या होता है? Interest and taxes. तो before deducting interest and taxes, what was the performance that is determined by EBIT? Then EBITDA. EBITDA is calculated by adding back non-cash charges to the EBIT. ये जो EBIT है, you had subtracted various costs out of this. Now EBIT add back non-cash charges like depre. It is not an actual cash outflow. It is just amortization of a heavy cost which you paid while acquiring a fixed asset. For some capital intensive companies with fixed assets, which have expensive fixed assets, depre expense will be quite high and EBIT might be low. See, whenever you subtract operating expenses from operating revenue, you get EBIT. So in that operating expenses, when you have depreciation, bhi dalte ho, and if that company is a capital intensive company which needs expensive fixed assets, then the depreciation expense will be high, ultimately your EBIT will be low. So we add back depre expense to the EBIT and we get EBITDA. So we can compare EBITDA of this company with any company. FFO, funds from operations kya hota hai? FFO is found by adding depre, amortization, deferred tax, non-cash items to the net income. Formula ke sab se net income plus depre and amortization add back deferred taxes and any other non-cash charge or non-cash item. This looks like cash from operations CFO. It is very similar to that. FCFBD free cash flow before dividends free cash flow before dividends uska formula hai net income add depre add amortization add or less non recurring items minus capital expenditure plus increase or minus decrease in working capital if you can't remember such a formula which has so many variables just remember this is CFO minus capex ye easy formula hai ye yaad rakho 
बिकॉज वट एवर यू हैव डन फॉर एग्जाम्पल प्लस डेप्री प्लस अमोटाइजेशन या प्लस इंक्रीज और माइनस डिक्रीज इन वर्किंग कैपिटल एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा ये सब सी एफ ओ में होता था एंड देन डिडक केपेक्स आउट ऑफ इट सो यू गेट एफ सी एफ बी डी एफ सी एफ ए डी ऑफकोर्स फ्री कैश फ्लो आफ्टर डिविडेंड विल बी एफ सी एफ बी डी माइनस डिविडेंड्स इफ एफ सी एफ ए डी इज पॉजिटिव इफ फ्री कैश फ्लो आफ्टर डिविडेंड इज पॉजिटिव देन द कंपनी कैन रीपे डेट और अक्यूमुलेट द कैश ऑन बैलेंस शीट ये इसको क्या बोलते हैं डी लिवरेजिंग विच इज अ पॉजिटिव इंडिकेटर ऑफ क्रेडिट वर्दीनेस ऑफ द इश्यूअर बेसिकली वॉट यू डिड इज फर्स्ट यू अर्न सम इनकम यू पेड इंटरेस्ट टू द डेट होल्डर्स देन यू पेड डिविडेंड टू द शेयर होल्डर्स अभी भी पैसा बाकी है तो वॉट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन रीपे द डेट होल्डर्स और कीप दैट कैश सेफ आइदर वेज बोथ आर बेनिफिशियल फॉर द डेट होल्डर्स This is known as deleveraging. Now let's study the leverage ratios. Debt by capital. Debt by capital, as the name suggests, it will be debt divided by capital. Or denominator me capital मतलब क्या होता है तो debt plus equity. Next है debt by EBITDA. So again, formula is very easy. Debt by EBITDA. but how do you interpret it so this ratio checks whether ebitda is good enough to make the issuer credit worthy basically if the debt is so high and the ebitda is very low there can be a issue to ye issue na ho iske liye debt by ebitda ratio can be calculated and compared with year on year basis FFO डिवाइड बाई डेट एफ एफ ओ डिवाइड बाई डेट फंड फ्रॉम ऑपरेशन डिवाइड बाई डेट क्या इंटरप्रिटेशन होगा इसका न्यूमरेटर में एफ एफ ओ है डिनोमिनेटर में डेट है इफ द एफ एफ ओ इज हाई इनफ टू रीपे द डेट होल्डर्स देन इट इज रियली गुड फॉर द कंपनी सो द दिस रेशियो इफ इट इज हायर इट विल बी बेटर सो इट चेक्स द अबिलिटी ऑफ द इश्यूअर टू रीपे डेट इफ एफ एफ ओ इज हायर देन द डेट कैन बी रीपेड एज पर शेड्यूल Similarly, FCFAD by debt. It checks whether debt can be repaid out of FCFAD. Deleveraging will be done here. Next are the coverage ratios. So EBITDA divided by interest. First one. It checks whether EBITDA is sufficient enough to cover or to pay the interest expense. If I say EBITDA is two million and my interest expense is just one million, मतलब मेरा interest expense जो है I can pay it out of my EBITDA. So the EBITDA is covering my interest expense very well. So this coverage ratio again higher the better. Next is EBIT by interest. Just like the above EBITDA by interest ratio, this is EBIT by interest. It checks whether EBIT can cover or can be used to pay the interest expense ebit is found by subtracting non cash charges of depre and amortization thus ebitda by interest would be a better coverage ratio as ebitda is before deducting non cash charges so it is always preferable to use ebitda because ebitda me se apne abhi tak depre minus nahi kiya hai so non cash charges minus nahi karna hai that is why ebitda will be a better ratio compared to ebit summary of this whole ratio analysis so if you are considering profitability and cash flow measures so of course higher the better leverage ratios if you are seeing debt by capital or debt by ebitda देखो न्यूमरेटर में डेट है सो लोअर द बेटर एफ एफ ओ बाई डेट एंड एफ सी एफ ए डी बाई डेट दीज टू रेशियोज आर हायर द बेटर बिकॉज न्यूमरेटर हैज फंड फ्रॉम ऑपरेशन एंड फंड और फ्री कैश फ्लो आफ्टर डिविडेंड्स एंड कवरेज रेशियोज ऑफकोर्स हायर द बेटर बिकॉज कवरेज रेशियोज में न्यूमरेटर में क्या था ई बी आई टी या ई बिडा डिवाइड बाई इंटरेस्ट so check the numerator and then decide if the ratio is higher the better or lower the better now for mcqs remember 
in FCFAD and FCFBD, you have to deduct capex, capital expenditure. Capital expenditure kya hota hai that has not been defined in any books. But as per CFA Institute's curriculum, you have to use this. Capital expenditure is equal to addition to tangible and intangible assets minus proceeds from the sale of assets. Basically, capital expenditure kya hota hai? So it is a it is some heavy expenditure basically on your assets. So wo expenses jo hai, consider it for tangible as well as intangible assets, but also deduct any income out of the sale of those assets. For leverage ratios, debt is equal to short term plus long term. It is not written anywhere, but CFA curriculum says that debt may short term be aega and long term be aega. Let's solve an example. Given below are industry ratios as per credit ratings. So in some industries, already there are some benchmarks. Rating AAA, AA, single A. Now these are ratios hai. EBIT by interest, EBITDA by interest, debt by capital, FFO by debt and debt by EBITDA. Now these are all industry ratios. You have to check which company falls in which rating category. Given below are the figures for ABC, DEF and XYZ INC. Now EBIT, EBITDA, interest expense, debt, equity and FFO are given for these three companies. How do you predict which issuer is credit quality or which should be credit rating? Dena in the previous slide, you saw so many ratios. You just have to compare those ratios with the actual ratios of the companies and then decide. Rate ABC, DEF and XYZ based on the financial ratios by comparing the ratios with industry standards. Now, if you calculate these, you can pause the video and you can calculate these ratios. So EBIT by interest for ABC comes down to 21.25. If you compare it with the industry chart, you'll see that ABC should be given A rating. Similarly, EB da by interest, 27.5, again A rating, and so on. So consider this as an exercise, pause the video, and you can calculate all of these ratios. Ye sub ratio a gaya, then consider the average of these ratings. So in ABC's case, 1, 2, 3 and 4 single A and sirf ek double A hai. So majority says single A. So ABC will be rated as single A. Similarly, DEF, double A, XYZ, triple A. So you can solve these. These are very basic ratios, but don't forget to take majority or average of these ratings. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.